guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Imagination Highlight to the Moon palette. Which as you can see is very reflective. It's in its packaging itself. Like, geez, you can't even see that. Basically, I got this for Christmas. And, uh, what have I got on top of it? Basically, I got it for Christmas. And I've used it a couple of times. And wearing the like contour like shades from it because in this palette there is nine shades this is what it looks like I'm currently wearing the middle shade yeah I'm wearing the middle shade and also I tried to use this matte highlight as like a powder foundation I think it worked a little bit I wasn't expecting full coverage anyway because that's not what powder foundation does and then you've got three slash yeah like three slash four highlight shades I've as you can see I've not got any highlighter on that's because I wanted to show you how it works and to show you that it does work because obviously whenever I've reviewed products in the past I've already been wearing it or at least for most of my recent reviews I've been wearing it so I've kind of gone for this look again not worn it in a while but yeah just in case you hadn't noticed but yeah so let's just get on to applying this but first let's sort of tell you about the matte shades very like they're very soft and pretty like there's a normal kind of pinky undertone neutral plus then there's like a banana powder sort of colour and then there's like a like I don't know it's like a peachier colour I don't know how to describe it and then you've obviously got yeah three matte bronzers they all have names right we'll point it out Why does my sister have to want me whilst I'm filming? <sighs> yeah, I've got the three kind of bronze shades and then they've got the three highlighters. So that's like a pure white, then you've got like a dark gold and like a more yellowy gold. And then you've got a white but with like a yellowy undertone. And I'm more of the gold or like the white gold. So let's just apply this. I'm going to tap off the excess. There is a little bit. And let's just apply this. I have, obviously bearing in mind, I haven't got any foundation on underneath. So it's just my natural skin. But there is highlight on it. And it is very pretty. The camera is just not doing it justice. So, go on with the second one. I do like more of a blinding highlight anyway. And I was actually wearing this in my last video I filmed. Yeah. Thank you, mummy, for getting rid of my sister. I do love my sister just. It's very annoying she wants me at this time. You can see that highlight. Just sometimes this camera when it focuses it decides to focus on the highlight and it goes bleh. Because we got the good nose highlight. And then let's highlight the bridge. I don't like too much on the bridge, but I like a little bit. Chin, and then let's take a bit of my finger and do my keepers bow. Yeah. 
again very pretty but let's go blinding and let's dig, dig into that white top off any excess and Then I'm kind of going to leave my cupids throw alone. But, again, very pretty. Obviously, again, I'm in my natural skin. So, it's not going to show up the greatest. Like, it's not going to show it's true. Wow. But also, I don't think the lighting is, like, giving it justice. Either. I'm trying to like, I was trying to focus it sort of then. I am kind of obsessed with this like hair at the moment. Even though this is like the first time I've worn it in like months. Like I swear the last time I wore it was... I'm pretty sure the last time I wore it was secondary school. Like, that's crazy. But yeah. I've kind of only been using it a little bit more in like the past week or two but I don't know whether you can notice but I've kind of already like goes for more of like a flat finish I've kind of more ingrained into it so like there as you can see it's like a little bit more bumpy but let's swatch it at the moment very very pretty And then let's mix the two middle shades. But yeah. And then it obviously comes with a handy mirror, which I do enjoy. Because obviously it's like if you want if you're taking it out and you want to top up your highlight during the evening, you can do. Whereas with other highlighters you have to go to like the bathroom or the toilet and just update it. But with this you can do it in like the car or you can do it at the table or if you're on a date then do it in the toilets or even if it's in the car or even in the corridor to the toilets if there's like a corridor to the toilets just as long as your date doesn't see you but I've never had that never been on a date but yeah also I believe this palette was 10 pounds I believe it was 10 pounds and obviously you get like nine shades which incredible for saying you can buy one shadow for, well, one highlight for three pounds. So you are getting a good money because you've got like three sort of matte highlighters slash like just powder foundations. Then you've got your three contour slash bronze. They're more contour because they're like a cool tone brown. They're not warm, so it's more contour than anything, but you can kind of do whatever you like you can put the lighter one on first and you can then you can go in with like the darker one and you can build up which is obviously great and then you've got the three highlighters which I do enjoy because it's like you can mix and match so your highlight can be different each day I tend to go for the white and like the light white yellowy gold sort of thing I don't know how to describe it but if I would recommend this palette to anyone who's like a like anyone who's new to highlighting I'd recommend this because you can build it up it's like it comes out nice and pretty and like it's noticeable but still quite mute if like if that makes any sense but then you can build it up so it's like blinding so as you get more into highlight and you get more adventurous or like more I just want more highlight you can build up which I do enjoy with a highlight because it's like you want that option you want that you want to be able to play with it you want to be able to blend not blend it you need to be able to manipulate it to what 
you want, which is obviously great for highlight junkies like myself. Because, okay, yes, I don't wear makeup most days to college, but then I love a good highlight. So, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you can join this family. And I will be doing shout outs. I keep forgetting to mention shout outs. Oh, but if you guys want to shout out, then just like comment down below and I'll shout out either one or two of you. Depends on how many comments I get. So keep commenting and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.